Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's second video. We're going to have a look at the GMA seasonal model for today's second video. Uh, we're going to look at the next three months worth of data for uh, August, September and October 2021. And I shall get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video released today was our 7am forecast. Uh, we've also got European Outlook coming up uh, later on this morning. So it was on a Thursday. Have a detailed look at the weather for uh, Europe, will the intense heat wave continue in that southeastern corner? You'll find out later on. And uh, then we're going to have a 10 to 14 day that will include all of the regular features, and that will be coming up for you later on uh, this afternoon. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much, everybody. Dear Matt, I hope you're having a lovely uh, Thursday morning. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the Germany uh, season model. We'll start off with a Northern Hemispheric view down for the next three months, and then we'll have a look at the mid-latitude tropical view, and uh, we'll add on a little bit of detail. Uh, this, of course, ahead of Saturday's second season model roundup for autumn 2021. So you can get all the long range ones together, including the JMA, uh, for only the second time this season uh, for, for autumn. And that will be coming up on Saturday morning. Now, because you can glean so much information from the JMA, we always like to take this one out, isolate it out, and have a look at it in its own terms. Um, you know, so so uh, we'll, that's what we do for this video. And then, then when we look at, you know, the season model around it, you'll know uh, when we only just touch on, like, the free monthly anomaly, you'll know how it works out month by month. Because you don't have time to go through it all when we've got another 15 or so long-range models uh, that go with it. Uh, right, OK, so uh, let's get on with it. Then. I'm going to start off with the uh, week one. 500 millibar height only from the North Pole view down. Um, so this is uh, for August, of course. This is month number one. So if everything is working correctly, this should be the most uh, reliable part of the whole thing, really. So uh, with this, of course, uh, it remains the case of blue is extrapolating to uh, below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. So for August, the JMA wants to have an area of above average heights sitting over and just a little bit to the east of us with below average heights out in the North Atlantic around Greenland and Iceland. There is influences from the jet stream, but generally I think the jet stream is going to our north with this. Um, however, there could be some unsettled weather at times uh, from uh, like the Atlantic from the jet stream. The main thing though with this, I think, was, is that with the ridge centred center just to our east we would be bringing in like very warm or potentially hot east or southeast winds so i reckon the jma could be hinting at a very warm month there for august maybe even quite a hot month with winds coming in you know from an east or southeasterly direction uh, this is how september looks month number two so uh in september once you have above average heights again to our east but also to our south and southwest lower pressure not particularly low but lower pressure is to our north and west and so again i think we're doing something a little bit like that with flow and with projection that yellow area you look at that and probably think that that is high pressure actually that's relatively normal uh, pressure to be honest so i reckon that could be a little bit more unsettled in september we might have some spells of rain coming in off the atlantic but again main thing with that is that it does look quite warm i think with winds coming up from at the very least a southwesterly direction could actually be rather southerly so that's month number two also potentially i think looking quite warm and then we go through to month number three and it's a very long way out of course this is october and this one has below average heights, low pressure to our north, northeast, above average heights, to uh, high pressure to our south and southwest. Uh, this is a little bit more unsettled, definitely, and possibly rather cooler as well, because I think with this, we could well be starting to line up the jet stream northwest to southeast, which means, you know, the way but the, the high pressure in the Atlantic is, is around here. And this low pressure is to our uh, north northeast. I think we could bring in some cooler air from the northwest, so perhaps a rather cooler northwesterly month, but rather more unsettled as well in October. So months one, two, very warm or warm anyway. Um, probably very warm for August and warm for September. Perhaps cooler for October and becoming more unsettled as we progress through the uh, autumn, as I suppose you'd expect. That's my interpretation, but let's have a look at how it all stacks up 
term of the uh, tropical and uh, mid batch if you're enjoying this long range okay with the jma season one well, then please can you like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you so much everybody uh, for doing mm. that. Now, on this view, you can't see the North Pole and Greenland and the Arctic and Scandinavia. All those areas are off the chart up here. But have a look at that view down so we know what's happening. So we know that in August we have got low pressure actually to our northwest, but we've also got high pressure coming over here, sitting just to our east. And so I think that could be bringing quite a warm east or southeasterly flow um, during uh, August. That could be a very warm wind direction for August. So let's have a look at temperature anomaly then uh, for month number one in August. That's coming out above average, not excessively so. I would have thought this would be in the yellow, uh, yellows or oranges with like a southeasterly flow. But actually it's only ever so slightly uh, above average of the temperature anomaly. In, uh, in August. It is a rather dry month, though. It's going for a dry and average month. I reckon that's a warm, dry August, uh, to, be on, uh, to be honest. Rounding off what has been, uh, you know, quite quite a warm, dry uh, summer in some areas, especially in the north. Um, it is rather different to what we're seeing in the shorter range model output, I have to say. This was generated on this model run. This season model run was generated on the first day of July. Um, so, so how seriously we take it, I don't know. Uh, but there you go, that's what the JMA uh, was forecasting uh, back at the beginning of July. Uh, this is the main wing direction. The black arrow is always a little bit difficult to make out, but you can see we come over here that they're coming in towards the UK from an east to southeasterly direction through here. You can see we're bringing in like southeasterly to possibly slightly slight southerlies. I reckon if that comes off, that's a very warm August, but whether it will come off, uh, I'm a little bit too dubious about, given the short range model output that we're seeing at the moment. But there we go. That's what the JMA is forecasting for August. For September, uh, we look like this. So we have above average pressure. High pressure is to our south and also to our east as well. Lower pressure is through here. Could be a little bit more influence, maybe from the jet stream, let's have a look at temperature, and normally that's coming out slightly warmer than average uh, with the JMA during September, month number two. And it does definitely look more unsettled for the northern half of the country anyway. So in the north, it's rather wetter than average, but still a bit drier than average for England and Wales, perhaps gradually transitioning into a more unsettled month. The jet stream is broadly westerly, actually, of a wind direction. Uh, broadly westerly with those black arrows coming in from the Atlantic into the UK, implying that, you know, very gradually as the month goes on, the, the ridge gets broken down perhaps, and we go into a more unsettled autumnal type pattern. And then finally, month number three is going to be uh, October, of course, with uh, above average heights to our west, also to our southwest. Now, you can't see the tropical average heights very well because it's more to our north and uh, northeast up here. So, you have to envision that Scandinavia there. So, between the ridge and the trough, we could be bringing them in from more of a northwesterly direction, perhaps, in October. The temperature anomaly is still holding up. Uh, you know, it's average to slightly above average in October. Um, relatively dry, again, for England and Wales. A wetter month, though, uh, for Scotland. So, unsettling the north, dry in the south. And finally, the mean wing direction is actually west to northwest, I think. So, so uh, you can see the black arrows again coming into the UK from the west. If we come over here, you can see there are northwesterlies sort of just to our east. So, I think the wing direction is like west northwesterly, um, which I think would be a rather cooler uh, wind direction, actually, despite the fact that doesn't show that. But I think it would be a rather cooler wind direction for October, and, um, and and possibly a little bit more unsettled than that is indicating as well, to be honest. Right, okay, so uh, that's it. That's uh, how the uh, next three months stacks up with the JMA. Now, remember, it's just one model, and, uh, and when we do our season model roundup for autumn 2021, this will just make up one of, like, several um, models. But the but, but JMA is a it's a pretty decent model. It's up there at the top end of the range, I think, as is as is base I said, you know, many of the Asian models are quite good, um, as well as well as some of the European models as well. So it, it's up there. It's up there with with like better range of the models, and uh, and that's what it's showing uh, this this month. I am a little bit dubious about what it's doing in October here. 
uh, in August, I should say, month number one. A little bit dubious about that due to the way the short-range models are, uh, are looking at the moment, which is very unsettled for like the first half of August anyway. So it remains to be seen, but I brought you the data anyway, and it's, you know, it's up to you how seriously you take it. Remember, any forecast beyond five, seven days is going to be fraught with danger and comes with big health warnings attacks. So just a bit of fun. And that's how it looks for the next three months this month. Right, so that's that one done. We're going to be back later on with your European outlook. And then we'll have a 10 to 14 day, but we include all of regular features. Come back for that one then. For the JMA seasonal update for, uh, for uh, July 2021, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.